The video is an assembly tutorial for the Jetson Nano Mini. It is a pre-assembled kit before shipment. Firstly, we need to remove the case and install the module. Start by loosening the two screws in the middle of the bottom cover. Then you can remove the top cover. Be careful not to damage the button caps. Next, remove the remaining four screws from the bottom. Afterward, loosen the screws on the Jetson Nano Mini Exapan board. If you are not installing the 4G module or Wi-Fi module, you can skip this step. Otherwise, you'll need to loosen the screws. Next, separate the two boards. Then, install the 4G or Wi-Fi module. Start by loosening the screws on the adapter board. Then, attach the Wi-Fi module. Once the module is in place, tighten the screws that were previously removed. The Wi-Fi module installation is finished. If you're installing the 4G module, you'll need to remove the adapter board. After removing the adapter board, you can install the 4G module. The 4G module installation is now complete. Now, install the Jetson Nano module. Connect it to the cooling fan header. Secure it with screws. Next, install the antennas. For the Wi-Fi module, connect the antenna with an IPX to SMA adapter. For the 4G module, use the 4G high gain antenna with SMA mail connector. Then, install the camera. Afterward, connect these two boards. Secure them with screws. Pull the camera cable through the camera interface on the bottom cover. Then connect it to the camera. Next, also thread the antennas out through the antenna holes on the cover. Note that one side of the antenna hole is flat, so align it accurately for easier threading. Repeat this action for the other side as well. Once the antennas are installed, neatly organize the cables and prepare to insert the host. Align the top cover with the corresponding holes and secure it with black screws. Tighten the screws on the bottom cover with black screws as well, tightening the screws on both sides. If you plan to mount it on a rail, you can also tighten the mounting plate with screws as well. You can choose the direction of the mounting holes according to your needs. Then tighten the remaining two screws in the middle. Finally, attach the antennas. With this, the installation is complete. 